Hello everyone. In this training video, we will learn how to get started with your Figure 8058 knee mill turnkey package. The 8058 CNC turnkey package is assembled here in the United States and comes equipped with both conversational and G-code functionality. High resolution graphics, a full alphanumerical keyboard, two USB ports, and one ethernet port. This full length course will cover everything you will need to know to start machining with your CNC turnkey package after it has been installed. The timestamps for these sections are listed below. Let's get started. First thing we will go over is how to turn on the system. First, you will switch the main power on. The CNC will then begin booting up. The process should take roughly three minutes to fully initialize. It's displaying a message that the e-stop is activated. So we can go ahead and disengage the e-stop by rotating it clockwise. And then press reset. And press escape to remove warning messages. To power off the system, press F4 to go to jog mode. Press F5 for CNC off. Option 1 is to close CNC, so we will press 1 on the keyboard. The CNC is closed, so we can switch the main power to off. Switching between conversational and G-code modes is easy. To switch to conversational, hold shift key and press escape. The cycle menus can be accessed with the corresponding F keys below the icons. To switch back to G-code, hold shift key and press escape. As you can see, we will still need to home our axis. To do so, press the zero key. Cycle start to begin the home search. It will first home the Z axis. Then it will home the Y axis. Then finally, it will home the X axis. For this chapter, we will be centering the table using jog mode. To select jog mode, rotate the jog selector dial to continuous. Set the override dial to the desired percentage above zero. The program feed rate can be entered by pressing F and entering the desired feed rate. And press cycle start. The feed rate override can be set to a percentage of the program feed rate. You can use corresponding keys for the Z minus jog. Z plus jog. Y minus jog. Y plus jog. X minus jog. And Y plus again, just so we can get the table centered. We are going to use hand wheel mode to prepare for chapter eight's part zeroing. Rotate the jog selector dial to hand wheel 100 for course movement. We will start by selecting the X axis and you can begin turning the hand wheel either clockwise or counterclockwise to control direction. We will then select the Z axis and we will crank the hand wheel counterclockwise here. We will get a little closer with the X axis. For fine movement, rotate the jog dial to hand wheel one. On screen, we can see the actual spindle RPM displayed here. 
programmed spindle RPM, and a gear range display with a 1 for low gear and 2 for high gear. We can program a new spindle RPM by pressing the S key. Entering the new RPM and pressing the cycle start key. If we wanted a low gear RPM, such as 100 RPM, we will have to change the gears to low gear. You manually pull the lever to low and confirm the gear change by pressing the gear confirm key. Take a moment and confirm your jog dial is set to 1 for fine movement. Then use the hand wheel to move the X axis towards the part. Stop once you just touch the part. We will be setting the X part position by pressing X and typing the new X position. Press enter. You will get a message to confirm. Press enter again. The X position has been set. Next, we will hand wheel to the other side of the part and use fine movement to move the Y axis to just touch the part. To set Y part position, press Y and type the new Y position. Enter and enter again. To calibrate your tool, first use fine movement to hand wheel the tool down to touch the part. Select measure by pressing F8. Take measure F11. This will use the current Z position to measure the length of the tool. Press enter to continue. The tool length will be automatically entered here. Cursor down to R to enter in the radius of the tool. Enter the radius. Enter to confirm. And press escape to exit. The tool is now set up. To set the tool change location, first jog the tool away from the part. Then press T to select your tool. Use the down arrow to select the X tool change location. And press recall. Enter to teach X position. Recall, enter to teach Y position. Recall, enter to teach Z position. The tool change location is now set. To change the tool, press T. Type the tool number, cycle start. Remove the old tool from the spindle and insert the new tool. Cycle start again to confirm. Fagor has digitally integrated its manuals into the CNC software. Should you have a question about the screen you are on, simply press the help key and the page will guide you step by step through the current screen you are on. Let's demonstrate a simple drilling cycle. From the conversational main screen, we are going to press F1 to open up a drilling cycle. Press F1 again to view the drilling menu. We are going to select drilling 1. Each of the parameters has a detailed name at the bottom and a graphical location on the left. First, we will enter our X location for our drilling hole. Press enter to confirm. Y location, enter to confirm. The Z location represents the top of the part. ZS is your safety distance. P 
P is our drilling depth. F is our feed rate. S is our spindle speed. T is how many seconds we want to dwell at the bottom. I is how deep each of our penetration passes are. And ZR is how much we want to bring our tool up between passes. We also want to enter our tool number and our tool offset. Our spindle direction is set to clockwise. And we can press F11 to execute the cycle and cycle start to begin. Let's demonstrate a pocket cycle. From the conversational main screen, press F2 twice to open the pocket cycle menu. And we are going to select a simple rectangular pocket. We are going to be making this part print. Remember to look at the reference diagram and the parameter explanation at the bottom. First, we need to enter the X reference point. Zero, press enter to save. The Y reference point, zero, enter to save. Enter the length of the pocket, width of the pocket. Instead of having the starting point in the corner of the pocket, we can toggle it to the center by pressing the half key. Z is the top of your part. ZS is your safety distance. P is your pocket depth. Maximum roughing pass. Finishing stack. Maximum penetration per pass. Penetration feed rate. Programmed feed rate. Spindle speed. Tool number, tool offset, spindle direction set to clockwise, machining direction we will set to counterclockwise. When we are ready to execute, we can press F11 to execute cycle and press cycle start to begin. If this full course helped you out, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel for more Fagor CNC content. If you have any questions, please contact our service department. Thank you so much for watching.